Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do a video response or a video share from a challenge that Christiane, who is Christiane's Crafty Adventures here on YouTube, had last week during her live. Um, she had challenged crafters who were there and even who watched the video after her live. If you had lost your crafting mojo, um, she challenged us to <clears throat> make actually this item it's a mini vinyl tote and a mini traveler's notebook and to um, share it with uh, with everyone so here is this is what I'm gonna do I also she also taught us how to uh, make this mini backpack which is really cute and so I'm, I'm gonna share that as well so let me share the challenge item first so this is a mini vinyl tote and it measures let's see I have my ruler handy. It measures two and a half inches wide this way. And with the handle, you're going to get about five inches. Okay, so she has, I will link her video below that she has all the measurements on and it's her live, uh, you know, her after live You can watch the recording. And so this part is vinyl and I have... A big roll of vinyl I happened to get some and I just got it at Walmart and I got it in different um, thicknesses because I was trying to make um, this pouch for my grandson's first birthday party which never happened <laughs> but it's okay I'm gonna save it for the day we can celebrate um, and I went and I bought different um, textures thicknesses of vinyl so this is using the thickest one that I have and it's it's pretty thick um, not so thick that you can't manipulate it but you know it's not thin so I don't know what the milliliter thickness is but you can kind of see the thickness right here okay so I cut it into the strips that um, Christiane gave us now for those of you who are not really familiar when you click on a description box below and you you see instructions that the crafter had put on their site um, instead of keep scrolling down you can always um, cut and paste it like you just highlight from where you want it to print to the bottom and then you right click on your mouse and it says print you hit, hit your print button and you can send this part to your printer it's a uh, print selection I think or print yeah print selection selection meaning the parts that you highlight it okay so that's what I did so I'm gonna keep that with me um, and you know it's a good you can just keep it on the side um, of you when you're crafting so you can kind of know the measurements now you're gonna see here that I altered it a little because I wanted to make my backpack a little bit bigger and then I forgot I had altered it and then uh, that's okay you'll see it so these are my prototypes I it's not for me to give away because um, I try to uh, for me um, I try to perfect all my boo-boos you know so try to make something out and see where I went wrong and improve it so it's not something I would give away to someone okay so here it is Christiane also has a challenge um, not a challenge but she has Disney in September going now and so I thought I just used some of the Disney paper that I had in my stash and I'm going to share this these Mickey heads with you as well. So I'm going to take out the book for now. So this is my vinyl tote. It is so, so cute. I love it. And here's the bottom. I did use 110 heavy cardstock. And then that's your bottom. And then you put the vinyl around it. And I use this black and white polka dot as my base. I did cut it a little bit taller than the base. Um, I think I have to see if I can perfect getting my base straight you know when you put your tabs up I think I was a little bit off so if you can see it's a little bit the size I guess I could have cut it so then I thought maybe if I made this like an eighth of an inch taller than my bottom you know I could hide the top of the the bottom and then um, I did the top according to Christian's measurements but I didn't like the fact that I could see the tape here so I because it's a double tape you put it on both sides so that it really sticks good so I did a strip down here as well 
and I used double sided tape so it didn't look bad when you looked inside it kind of all matched and in the handle I did the reverse pattern of the white black and white I mean the black polka dots on the white paper I did use some enamel dots here but you could punch um, use your copper dial and put a eyelet in it you can hang a charm from it so you, there's a lot of things you can do you can even hang a charm from the handle okay so in these Mickey heads I adhered with um, glue dots for now so these Mickey heads I am a real big fan of um, Shell Fabian I think that's how you say her name and she has been a crafter for a long long time like over 10 years I think and as far as posting videos and she is a total Mickey fan and her whole channel is dedicated to Mickey Mouse so and Minnie Mouse so every year she has um, cards that she used to design and do for the whole year so I have I've been making her cards um, I've just some I gifted as sets um, I've never did share it on my YouTube channel but Monday maybe I will but check her out I'll leave her channel below too she doesn't make any videos maybe for the past year now so but what inspired me was these Mickey heads and back in the day um, we didn't have fancy punches for characters like this so you would she would make her own Mickey heads using circle punches <clears throat> so I thought it was really good so I was making a lot of Mickey head punches in my day um, out of circles so it's just you just have to find the right combination to make it look nice um, she has measurements on her channel what circle punches she uses this one I think is one and a quarter and this is three fourths, I believe. Yep, three fourths. Okay, and then you just put a really dab of glue at the corner, and you just put your adhere your ears, however much you want to put it in. If you put it in too far, maybe um, it starts looking like a bear instead of a Mickey Mouse head. So it just depends on the placement of where you put your circles. But I thought it was a really cute idea. So you can leave it plain like this. You can do it in glitter paper. Um, you can do it in different colors. Um, but what really I like was the fact that she used her white gel pen. And she outlined her Mickey ears. So that's what I did here. I outlined my Mickey heads with white gel pen. I put one bow of my mini satin bows for Minnie Mouse. So I adhered it here. So I thought that was really a cute touch. Okay, and it doesn't take that much. You don't have to decorate it as much. Um, and Christian gives you a lot of ideas on how to decorate your vinyl mini pouches. And here is my mini traveler's book. Now, I've made a lot of mini traveler's book in my day. Um, when it first came out as a popular item, um, I did order a few from crafters. And then I started to make my own. And I really enjoyed it. I made um, a lot during a holiday season and I gifted it as Christmas presents to my friends I think I even did one as a swap um, but I'm not really a planner or a traveler's notebook person I start it and I never finish things so I just start to make things for other people so Christian has a tutorial on how to make this this is made out of cardboard um, thin cardboard pieces how you put together a book okay with the spine and everything so you can always use this idea and you can always use the traveler's notebook ideas and you can laminate your um, books you know you can make it different sizes I know you can make it a little taller for this book um, you can make it a little bit thicker so there's always room to grow not by much though okay you, so anyways here is my traveler's notebook I did a little bit different than um, these are the same measurements that Christian gave, except because I decided to uh, put my holes in instead of wrapping it around the spine, um, it took away from the inches from my book. So my book is two and a half inches tall instead of two and three fourths. Okay, and I have, um, I think this is 12, so six pa blank pages, so a total of 12 back and front. And I did a cover and I just did all polka dots. So these are my, um, what do you call these? Oh, they're on the tip of my tongue, these notebooks, but there's a name for them. 
Okay, so I made them all in polka dots of different colors. I used um, gold um, elastic band. Now I have a whole container of elastics back in the day and we were buying two millimeters up to maybe three or four millimeters depending because the bigger travels notebook you can't really use the thin uh, elastics because they'll snap so i don't have elastics to go with a mini like this size which is very unusual because you should see all my elastics that i have it's a it's funny my friend shirley always laughs at me because when i buy something i buy it in bulk <laughs> so <laughs> So anyways, um, following Christian's directions, I did my book. Um, I did buy my book a little bit different. I did put grommets in here, so it's a little bit crooked. So that's what happens when I don't measure. And I strung it like how Live Love Scrap. Bona does a really great tutorial on how to string your um, traveler's notebooks. And she does different, depending how wide your spine is, you can do four to six of these in a book and so I did it that way um, let's see so here's the middle part where the last one you bring in and you tie it I did punch this hole and I was gonna put this in here as a binding I did use the gold but it the because the book is so thin small there's not much room for a knot in here to make it look nice so I just did a belly band on it. I have to figure that part out. So I just used a hair elastic. Elastic. I have tons of these too in different kinds of prints. And so I just put an elastic here for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So this is my traveler's notebook. Came out really cute. I love it. It's a really good idea. It makes great gifts. Um, I think I'm going to make more and just keep it aside so I can add it in my happy mail or gift it to my friends. Um, you can put dangles on them. Okay, so that is my challenge. Chris, Christiane, I hope you enjoyed um, what I had made. I hope everyone else does too. And then going to the backpack. I love this little cutesy. So this is also made out of the vinyl. It's a little bit smaller than the um, tote. So I think you can make a really nice size backpack if you use this dimension. You just have to alter her measurements but it's really easy to figure out because the whole bottom would be the same it's just the flap would change and this part would change but it's easy to figure out so this little mini backpack and I did alter my backpack I think I made it a half an inch taller than what Christiane's measurements were that's why you saw my markings but this is about two and a half inches tall so I think hers is two inches okay and it's almost about one and three fourths inches wide okay and I held it together with velcro because um I didn't have I had magnets but it was too strong and I couldn't take it off I mean I couldn't open my bag so I I took it off I think maybe next time I'm going to try to do a snap in here I'm not sure I gotta see if the snap pliers will fit so I just did Velcro. I did do, I didn't decorate my flap because I have Minnie and Mickey kissing here and has the oh my. So I wanted to leave that. So I used the same paper line as this one. And then so I held it together with um, Velcro. And then in here you really got to train your vinyl to stay like the backpack. Um, you could always take it a ne uh, step further I was thinking and you can punch holes. Um, and you can add string a drawstring here a cord and you can make it like kind of like a drawstring so that was an idea that I was thinking about you can always add dangles to your backpack this is a strap it is two-sided tape so I make two-sided paper so I didn't have to really um, double the strap and it was very simple to do it was very easy to follow her instructions it was really fun um, I think that's what the idea was to make it simple so that it's something you could do in a night and it would be really fun and just get your mojo flowing again so in here um, you can put all kind of things candies you can put beads so I just put a different kinds of beads in here just to show you how much things can fit in here okay so that is my mini backpack now I do have, getting back to this one, 
I do have some shares that I forgot. Um, when I did the inserts, I did cut my paper. Um, you know, this is the cover. Now for me, Christiane shows how she made her notebooks inside. But um, I wanted to share with you what I have. Some of you may have it. You can use a long nose um, stapler. But when I was doing traveler's notebooks, I did invest in a special stapler. So what I did was I just folded in half. So when I cut my paper, I fold in half. And I, f I always cut my inside papers just a tad bit shorter, like an in eighth inch shorter than the cover measurements so that when you put it in, it doesn't overhang um, over here. So then you don't have to go in and cut it later. Okay, so I fold it in increments and then I attach all my papers into my book. Okay, and then you really make sure that they're even and that the fold is all together. And then I have this stapler and I forgot the name of it at the moment. Um, but this one, it was not cheap. It was kind of expensive. So, but it's okay. I invested in it because it made my life so much easier. So <clears throat> what it does is this bend here, you just line it to where you want it to go. Make sure both sides are even. And then you just push down. Okay, and then you move it down. And you put it where you want it to go. Right on the bend. So that way you have a really good, accurate punch. It says right... Oh, sorry, I think I shook the table when I did that last one. You see? So right on the fold, you get a really good punch. I mean, a staple in there. So it's not off or anything. It's pretty good. Okay, so that's how I made my um, books to go into my traveler's notebooks. Okay. I'll show you. So that's how I got these. Okay, so you can see that they're pretty even. And it makes life really, really simple. When you have the bigger books, if you do use staples, um, you can always sew them. You can always use an, um, make holes in it and sew it by hand, sew it by machine. Um, but for most times, people would staple them. When you have a taller sleeve inside, you can put three staples in it. Okay, so that's how I made my mini books inside. So just something in case you have a stapler like that or um, can use one somewhere at work or I invested in one because I was making so many and I think that's it. Um, I do have a Mickey Mouse punch that I bought. Um, I think I got this on Amazon and so you can always make your life easy and just punch your Mickey heads that you can put onto your book here. But I really like this added dimension of the uh, stitching. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching. Um, this was really fun to me. I'm glad I did do the challenge. And I will see you all really soon. Thank you, everyone. Bye.